Schumacher blazed the tires, and Doug Herbert picks up the win, picks up the trophy, picks up 100,000 extra bucks. You think these guys are pumped? Uh, so my name's Doug Herbert. I'm the founder of the Race Team Safe Driving Program. Uh, I started racing professionally in 1991 and had some pretty good success over the years. We're a four-time uh, top fuel world champion and uh, 30 national event wins all around the country. And I uh, really had a great time doing the drag racing. John and James, they're about just the coolest people. Everything that I did, I, like I woke up and I was just like, okay, what are John and James and I gonna do today? We're gonna take on the world, we're gonna go ride dirt bikes, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go there. And there was just like, every day something new that we could do together. And I just thought, I mean, I thought the world of them. There was nothing that we couldn't do together that I didn't think. We could just be us walking into school together. I was like, this is so cool. I have my two best friends right here. They're cool. That makes me cool and we're walking in together. It's awesome. January 26, 2008, my life really changed uh, when my two teenage boys were killed in a car crash less than a mile from my house. It was just Saturday morning, everything was super normal, woke up, I was ready to roll on out with them, we all rode dirt bikes, we did so much fun stuff together, they were both my best friends and I was just ready to take on the day with them and somebody came knocking on our door. And uh, my son John was driving the car, James was a passenger, and they were just going to McDonald's to get uh, to get something to eat. And John was driving fast, being reckless, and uh, he lost control of the car. Me and my mom who answered the knock on the door. So we went down, we got to their accident scene, saw their car all crumpled, and we found out later that both of them died in a car accident. To say that that was a wake-up call would be a complete understatement. Um, you know, the, here's the thing that I love the most is driving cars, and a car is also what took my boys away. Um, at that time, I didn't really know that car crashes are the number one thing that kills teenagers. And in fact, in 2008, more teenagers died in car crashes than the next four things put together. So the question that I had to ask myself was, why isn't somebody doing something about this? Our Making a Difference report is about a man who makes his living in drag racing, a few seconds of fire and smoke and a harrowing quarter mile at a time. But when tragedy struck Doug Herbert's family on the road, he decided to turn that experience into something positive and developed a new passion for helping young drivers. I started this program called Brakes, and uh, my boy's friends came up with that name, Brakes, and it's actually an acronym for Be Responsible and Keep Everyone Safe. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, back in 2008, we trained 50 teenagers, which was uh, most of John and James' friends. And uh, then things kind of started to snowball. I, I had other parents call me, hey, when are you going to do that class again? And when's the next time you're doing that? And parents were hearing about this. And so the following year, we trained about 200 people. And then it just continued to snowball. And uh, here we are in 2018, we've trained about 35,000 teenagers from uh, 30 states all around the country. It's like even the simple things, like I didn't get to go to their graduation, I don't get to go to their wedding, they don't get to come to my wedding, just anything like that, days that should be a happy day, it's kind of, it's always going to be affected for the rest of my life just because of one mistake that was made, which is when breaks comes into hand, all somebody has to do now to prevent that from happening is come to one four hour course on a weekend. And if all I had to do to save my brothers was go to a four hour course on a weekend, I would do that every single weekend for the rest of my life, no question. A couple years ago, they finished a study. They analyzed driving records of our brake students over a five-year period and compared those driving records against the standard DOT driving statistics for the same areas, the same zip code, the same, you know, basically the same teenagers, except they hadn't went through the brake class. And the findings for that was pretty amazing. What Dr. Friday found out was that brakes trained teen drivers were 64% less likely to be involved in a crash, so that was a win.
December we got a statistic where there was about 40 kids alive today because they went through the program and that well oh, it still sits with me I get goosebumps every time I think about it it's really an incredible thing um, it's a tragedy of what happened but the fact that something so so amazing and so incredible came from it is really it's super awesome